three families. That's all it took. The Ingrams, the Carlyles, the Stuyvesants. Tell us everything about them. The ivory towers are about to fall. And when we're done... Let's cross that bridge when we get to it. For now, the partners are all that matter. There's an issue. Of course there is. Olivia's tracked the names mentioned by the Constant, and they're dead ends. How dead? Obituaries for all three have appeared online. Accidental death, heart failure, lung cancer. They're covering their tracks. Faster than I thought. A contingency plan of sorts. The Constant wasn't aware of it. Well, it seems they didn't tell him everything after all. Something this big will leave traces behind. The Constant says to follow the money. Milton Fitzpatrick. The investment bank. It's a key Providence asset. Which you worked for. The director of the New York branch is a Providence operative. It's our best bet as a way in. I'll tell the pilot to turn the plane around. Right, gentlemen. Here's what we've come up with. The partners are transitioning between identities. But everything is so recent, the Milton Fitzpatrick bank records will still be intact. We've confirmed that the partners have active accounts there. However, the bank's records are remotely updated on a frequent basis. We may only have hours before any leads that could get us the new identities of the partners are gone forever. The data we need can be obtained in two ways. The bank's data core can be accessed through the basement vault, but getting inside the vault could be challenging. Alternatively, bank director Athena Savalas, head of security Mateo Perez, and head of accounts Fabian Mann each carry a partial backup drive with the data. We'll need all three drives to get the full data. Now, we cannot risk the partners discovering the data breach. Eliminating the bank's director, Athena Savalas, would sever the last remaining Providence tie to the bank and keep our activities hidden. Okay, one more time. We break into the vault, extract the hard drive rack, and eliminate the director on the way out. We. You. Good luck, 47. Welcome to New York, 47. The Milton Fitzpatrick Bank is open for business, but it seems there's some sort of investigation underway. Expect increased security. Your target, Director Athena Savalas, can be found in her top floor office, overlooking the iconic Teller Hall. Head of security, Mateo Perez, is roaming between the vault area and the Teller Hall, talking to employees. And Head of Accounts, Fabian Mann, can be found on the investment banker floor and the top floor of the bank, driving the internal investigation. Remember, we need to secure the data from the bank's reinforced vault, or, alternatively, acquire three hard drives carried by the director and her two lieutenants, Mann and Perez. Good luck, 47.
Hey, stay safe. How's it going? Uh, say, aren't you Ruby Red, the investigative reporter? I loved your expose on the much talk data abuse. I mean, wow, Jason Portman must hate you. <laughs> so, um, what are you working on now? I'm sorry? I don't know what you're talking about. My name's Tina. Tina Smith? I work in insurance. Right. Undercover, are we? No, no, I'm just not who you think I am, sir. Now, please leave me alone or I'll be forced to alert security. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. Uh, it's just, you really look like her. Um, well, have a good day. Ruby Red, famous muckraking investigative journalist, is in the bank. Known for her fierce skills at digging up dirt and her excellent nose for scandal, she's definitely up to something. Might be worth following her. Teddy, it's me. I'm at the bank now. I still haven't been able to make contact with the informant. Don't you dare dump this story, Ted. I will find that report one way or another. This will be the story of the year. Director Savalas has been acting with extreme recklessness, and the public deserve to know that. My informant will come through. Just make sure you're ready to pull the trigger when I get the documentation. She's going down today, Ted. One way or another. Of course. Of course the stock will plummet. I expect that will happen immediately. That's the point, right? Show the world the ugly side of this whole business. We're doing this. I'll email you the documents as soon as I have them. Sorry, sir, but I can't let you through here. What is it about stop freaking trespassing that you don't understand? Yeah. Sure thing, Mr. Perez. I'm on top of everything here. Good. It's important to keep a tight ship today. Understood? We don't want 
anything leaking. This is straight from Director Savalas. Count on us, Mr. Perez. We slip sink ships and all that. I read you loud and clear. Good man. I'll be by later. Titan in Europe will set you on a pretty path from early childhood. Now, I'm just amazed at how she's evolved. Thanks her for here three times in a row. Eugene Cobb. Calm down, calm down. I'll check it out. Yeah, sure. Huh? What? Good, Ching. Huh? Okay. Pick that up. Uh huh. You stay here. And Try not to get in my way, all right? Oh, okay. Great. Great. Hmm? Someone should go and see. Now. Absolutely.
kidding me? Hey! No one ever taught you any manners. Excuse me? You stay here. Awesome. Oh. I'm a professional. No need to worry. I got this. Okay, go ahead and don't hold back. We have too many troublemakers around here. Huh? Okay. Anyone there? Answer. Teresa, it's me. I need your advice. Remember that situation at work I was talking about? Well, I hit a bit of an obstacle here. No, nobody's discovered anything, but for some reason, security is super high today. I... I don't think I can get to the documents safely. There's some sort of investigation going on, and they're specifically looking for the file. No, I hid the file in a safety deposit box in the basement. Keys with me here on my desk. Hell, I can even see the journalists from here, but... <sighs> this whistleblowing thing sounds great on paper, but I am telling you, it's pretty damn terrifying when you're the one doing it. Yes, I know it's important, but I can't risk my job here. Look, I have to think about this. Maybe there's a way to get down there unseen? I don't know. I'll call you later.
not clear. No, I, I just... It, no, it's just us here, I, so I didn't... Didn't think? That's obvious. Nobody talks about this out here. You understand me? The stock is very sensitive. Any rumor or something illicit could affect it. Thank you. Uh, have a good day. And a good day to you too, Mr. Ramirez. Don't catch the cold outside in the rain. Mr. Big Guy, why are you doing hey, this? Hey, stay safe. I need to ask you a few questions. What was the place last night, correct? Sure thing, Mr. Perez. I left around 10. Did you notice anything out of the ordinary? Cleaning crew coming in early, for instance? No, nothing like that. I was working on closing accounts. Director Savalas has moved the goalposts on the number of closures we need to complete this month. There were a few others working late, but that's not unusual. All right. Thank you. If you think of anything, Please don't hesitate to let me know. Enjoy your work day.
lovely day. Bye. This is the Vault 47. The data core should be behind that large steel door. I'm really sorry, but we've had to section off this area for now. The head of security suspects there may have been some tampering going on here. But I need my things in there. Well, we'll be done before closing time. Again, I'm really sorry, but Perez keeps coming down here. I'm not taking any chances by letting you in. But... Not here now, well, at least and the it's not as bad as that time in Queens. Who Remember that? Oh, Sorry, 6, no, 000 no, 000 semi. Incinerated no, files we had to tape together? Don't remind me. Yeah, I'm just saying maybe this isn't so terrible after all. There are always worse cases out there. I guess I'm mostly frustrated because of all the secrecy. staff or ask around if people have seen a folder full of secrets we could be here weeks and not find any thing eh, it's a steady paycheck my friend you don't have to love it uh, yeah I guess you're right Is that... is that what I think it is? Yes. Just make sure the information will be put to good use. Oh, you can bank on that. Who are you? What's your role in this? I'm not important. Good luck. It sounds like Miss Red has quite a scoop on her hands. My guess is this will cause a major market upset, which is sure to bring the director out from her fortified office. Oh my, this is... Perfect! Perfect!
Nothing to report, Mr. Anyone here is to blame for this disaster. I'll roast you over an open fire. How much more shit can happen today? I just... Well, I'm not sure what... Hey there, big guy. I mean, someone must have planned a break. It's too much of a coincidence to have something like this happen following a break in. Someone. I'll see you later, okay? Love you soon. Oh, absolutely. Very soon. The FBI will get a full report as soon as we can collate it. You can count on it. Very well. I'll call you directly as soon as I know. And please pass on my regards to the rest of the board. Goodbye. Sir. Someone's out to get me. There's no other explanation. I need a drink.
Excuse me, but I saw you. What is go- Oh, no! <laughs> Have we talked to everyone? No, I think I saw him go into the bathroom. He's been there for ages. Okay, doesn't sound promising. Milton Fitzpatrick is holding a round of job interviews. The final applicant was last seen going into the bathrooms where he's been for some time. Nerves, maybe? Think. Yeah, we'll give him the benefit of the doubt. Let me know when he comes out. Will do. Thanks. Oh, there you are. Feeling better, I hope. Should I let HR know you're ready for the final interview? I feel like a new man. I'm ready. Wonderful. Follow me, please. It's right down here. Best of luck in your interview, 47. Let's see where this will lead you to. Nervous? Don't worry. You'll do fine. Mr. Thomas, have a seat, please. Ah, Mr. Thomas, good to meet you. I'm Kevin, and this is Melissa. We're both with HR, and we will be guiding you through this last test. It's important to stress that there's no pass or fail here. It's merely a standard personality test meant to gauge how you'll fit into our corporate culture. All right. If you're ready, let's kick this off, okay? I'm ready. Okay, so this is a very simple test. All you do is pick a card and tell us what you see there. Now, it's important to point out that there are no right or wrong answers here. It's just to give us a better impression of who you are on a psychological level. Does that make sense? Yes, I'm ready. All right, Mr. Thomas, uh, let's proceed then. If you will, please pick the card that most conjures up the word opportunity. I'll pick this one. Good choice. Tell me, what is the first thing you see here? Just the very first thing that comes to mind. I see a figure in a large coat. Perspective skewed, as if I'm looking at him from the ground. He's got something in his hands. I... uh... go on. He's armed. Dual firearms. Large caliber pistols. I see. What else do you see? He's just finished a job. Perfectly executed. And who is this man? It's me. Very, very interesting, Mr. Thomas. Mm, very interesting observation, Mr. Thomas. <sighs> Not what we expected, but, but that's perfectly fine. Let's take the next one, shall we? Pick any of the remaining cards that make you think of execution, please. This one. All right, now look at it closely. Take a few moments, then tell me, do you see an animal or an object? Animal. I see. What kind of animal? A bird. An eagle, perhaps. An eagle. Very interesting. A forceful animal. Anything else? It's feeding on something. Feeding? On what? A carcass. The scene is reflected in a pool of blood flowing from the body. It's a vulture. 
feeding on someone else's kill. That's very graphic, Mr. Thomas. Yes, brutal even. Right. Well, that's a very creative interpretation, Mr. Thomas. Uh, I think we've just got time for the last card. Please proceed. Uh, this last card should hopefully make you think of prosperity. Okay. Ah, oh, very good. This is an interesting one. What do you see here? Take in the whole image, please, and in as much detail as possible, tell me what this reminds you of. Wealth. Hmm. Can you elaborate on that? I see a big pile of money earned performing questionable actions. And how do you feel about that, bending the rules of the game? It's what I do. Very good, Mr. Thomas. Well, that was certainly <laughs> unexpected. I think the results are pretty clear, Mr. Thomas. We don't have the perfect match for the investment banker position. However, you're just the man we need for our accounting department. I have to agree with Kevin here. We need someone a little more cutthroat for the top tier here at the bank. Someone willing to go that extra mile, to really dive into character, as it were. But on a positive note, I do believe you will fit in perfectly with the more dry-witted accountants. Hmm. Great point, Melissa. There's no need to turn this little setback into a complete failure. Someone with your particular set of skills would be perfect for accounting. When can I start? That's the spirit. Tomorrow morning at 8. But you know what? Have a look around the bank. You've got clearance for the ground floor, first, and second floors. Get to know the space a little. And then, we'll see you tomorrow. I can't wait. I'm sure you can see yourself out, Mr. Thomas. I'll see you tomorrow. You know what, Melissa? Let's call it a day. We're done here.
Ah, oh, finally alone. Can't wait to get home, put my legs up. Browse ye old internet. Yeah. I'm not sure I'm... Hey, you. Damn. Don't be the money, baby. Don't be the Damn it. Holy shit. Oh, balls. One of the investment bankers at Milton Fitzpatrick is facing termination. He's got a private meeting with Director Savalas and has been told to register at the top floor reception. Well, terminations are your specialty, 47. Um. Mother, have you seen Savalas down here recently? 
She never comes down. She prefers to look over all of us from that watchtower of hers. Weird approach to God leadership. Damn. Well, I mean, she gets the result of leadership. Jesus Christ! Every quota they threw at me. How? How could she do this? I can't be fired. Please stand back. I'll check it out. Don't worry, mister. I ain't going nowhere. I gave this place everything. Wow. Noise. No.
you're just supposed to let anyone from IT in there? That's right. You know how crap this old building is with the wireless, and how the director hates seeing cables anywhere? Well, she had her router. If you want to come through this way, I'm gonna have to do a quick pat-down. Funny. My mother always said I had good hands. Said I should have been a surgeon. Clean as a whistle, sir. Go on. That's right. You know how crap this old building is with the wireless. Now the director hates seeing 47? anywhere. 47? That's Fabian Mann, head of accounts at this branch of Milton Fitzpatrick. He should have part of the backup data core on his person. Chuck, wasn't it? Look, I'm going for a round. Nobody gets in or out of the conference room unless I say so. It's Charles, Mr. Madden. And yes, Mr. Perez, our head of security, already notified me. I'm keeping an eye out. Right, Perez is handling it. Except, you know, it's my investigation up there. I think I need to talk to him. Keep it a hundred, squad. You do that, Mr. Mann. I need to pat you down if you want to proceed. Yeah, let me take a look. Just like the movies, right? And you are good to go, sir. Thank you. I'm here for a meeting with Director Savalas. I don't think... Oh, yes, of course. That's right, go inside. Thank you. Excellent, 47. This should be a termination Director Savalas won't forget. Mr. Jackson, have a seat, please. Thank you. Mr. Jackson, as you must be aware, we've been running some numbers internally to measure the flexibility and productivity of people working here at the bank. Work hours, output versus input, sales portfolios, late nights and early mornings, things like that. I've been reviewing personnel files for the past few weeks, and a couple of files stood out. Yours, for instance. Is that so? I have quite specific expectations when it comes to my employees. How you appear and act reflects directly on me and this building. And, well, you've certainly managed to stand out, Mr. Jackson. Tell me, do you knit those sweaters yourself? Or does your wife do that? A man needs a hobby, Miss Savalas. God. Leave the room. I need a moment alone with Mr. Jackson here. So, Mr. Jackson, I'm pleased to inform you that you will be able to explore your hobbies in even greater detail in the near future. What are you doing? Sit down. So, Mr. Jackson, I'm pleased to inform you that you will be able to explore your hobbies in even greater detail in the near future. We're letting you go, Mr. Jackson. 
The bank appreciates your contributions over the years, but we feel it's probably best to part ways at this time. This may upset you, but let me assure you that eventually you will come to embrace this point in your life as an opportunity. This is not my first termination, Miss Savalas. Ah. Somehow, I'm not surprised. HR will send you all the relevant papers, Mr. Jackson. Please gather your things as soon as you can. Good day, Mr. Jackson. Director Savalas eliminated. Good work, 47. That's the first backup data disk secure. Good. Two more to locate. Sir, sir, you can't be here. You need to follow me right now. No questions, move. All clear, mister. Have a good day. <laughs> 